Hi, I am Matthew Thomas coming from the United Arab Emirates. Uh, I'm uh, representing the two Vigariates, the Vigariates of Southern Arabia and the Vigariate of Northern Arabia. In the Southern and Northern Arabia, we have seven countries, the United Arab Emirates, Oman, Yemen, Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar, and Saudi Arabia. So we have a very beautiful uh, synodal experience actually in our vicariates. Uh, we have almost 150,000 people uh, participated in the Synod. Uh, after the uh, inaugural mass, uh, there was a team, actually a team uh, constituted by the bishop, a five-member team to coordinate the synodal activities in the vicariate. And in each and every parish, we had a parish synod coordinator. So in every parish, we had synod, the parochial synod, the parish synod happened. Uh, for all the communities, we have uh, people from all over the world in our vicariates, from almost 150 countries, different nationalities, different cultures, different rights and uh, people from all communities, ministries, and sodalities took active part in the Senate process. Uh, the first and foremost, like we give importance that the message of Senate should reach to each and everyone, the message of the Senate. So the bishop, uh, there was a video from the bishop which was circulated among all the parishioners and uh, there are other videos we prepared uh, to, to educate the people about the Senate. And also we had uh, uh, email sent to all the registered members, even through SMS and through email, uh, the communication was sent to all the parishioners. So finally, as a result, around 150,000 people participated in the Senate. Among these 150,000, around 30,000 catechism children. You know, we have in our vicariates around 50,000 catechism children. And from day five onwards, all of them have participated in the Senate. And also, uh, there was a very active participation of the youth in the Senate. And uh, to reach out to the voiceless, as uh, Pope Francis said, to reach out uh, to the voiceless, we have... Um, uh, assigned the Jesus Youth Movement, a politically approved movement, uh, very active in our vicariates. They have uh, a ministry called the Outreach Ministry. So the Outreach Ministry of the Jesus Youth were assigned to reach out to the uh, people who live in the labor camps. So the majority of our people in our vicariate lives in the camps. And they cannot come to the church on a regular basis. So, these volunteers from the Jesus Youth visited each and every labor camps, met them individually, and spoke to them about the Synod, explained to them about the Synod, and what do the church expect from them, all that. And you know, they have all participated uh, because we had the questionnaire in different languages. So that was the questions were explained to them, and they all have participated. And also the Samaritan Ministry, a charity wing of the church in the Vigariate, uh, they were assigned to uh, meet the housemates. So hundreds of housemates were contacted. You know, personally, they went and met them and collected their opinion, their feedback from them. So that was also a very beautiful experience. And also, uh, we contacted some of the people who left the Catholic faith. You know, went to them like and asked them what is uh, what is their opinion about the church or what do you know and one very interesting thing is that the participation of the children the catechism children very actively they participated and they were explaining how they want the church to be loved and respected in the world so that was really uh, a beautiful thing and also i have to uh, mention about the church in Yemen, the tiny church in Yemen. We have around uh, 400 Catholics in Yemen, 
it's a war-torn country. The people are in uh, uh, real, you know, they are facing a lot of issues uh, where so many sisters from the missionaries of charity were marked here in the previous years. Uh, and all of them have participated in the Synod and they sent us the Synod report. We had uh, several interaction with them online, through online media. So that was another uh, wonderful experience. And I would uh, like to uh, share one experience, another experience that the Jesus youth from the, the youth from the Jesus youth movement, they visited the fishermen from one of the area, it's called Rasul Khaima. So they are actually uh, not going to church for two or three years because of some bad experience they had from the parish. Uh, initially, they were not willing to uh, associate with the youth, but later then they frequently went, visited them, talked to them, convinced them, you know, listened to them. Uh, finally, they uh, uh, returned to the church. They, they are now regularly they are going to the church for the mass and other services. So that is the fruit of the uh, synod. Uh, so this is what I just want to uh, uh, share. Like we had a very beautiful. Uh, experience of the Senate and we are going to continue with the synodal process then. Another thing like the Senate team of the Vigariate have decided uh, to make a report to the Bishop because from each parish we got a report. So based on that report what we need we need to implement like in our parish just like what are the areas we need to um, improve like that report is given to the Bishop and for the Bishop to you know, continuously monitor with the parish priest and to see that the suggestions from the people are uh, answered in whatever possible way we can. Uh, so this is what uh, the experience we have now. Thank you. Thank you.